Cleanup is in full swing at St. Margaret's shelter tonight. Yesterday, a small closet fire caused heavy water damage to the shelter. That's located at 6th and Pine in South Spokane. That's where we find KXLY Force Kylie Cruz. She's live at St. Margaret's shelter tonight with what that means for the women and children who stay there. And Colleen, now the, the Catholic Charities of Spokane runs the shelter and they say the 18 families that were displaced here last night are staying in safe locations all around the city tonight. Now, as you can see behind me, cleanup crews still here. They have been airing out the building all day long. They've also cleaned the carpets as well as fanned off the carpets as well. And today, well, the shelter is just thankful that everyone's okay. For years, St. Margaret's Shelter has helped women in crisis. Yesterday, they had a crisis of their own. We dropped everything, ran upstairs. I got my kids out. Lisa has stayed at the shelter for four months. She doesn't want us to show her face on camera in order to protect her identity. When the fire broke out, Lisa acted quickly. I was thinking of everybody else, my kids and everybody else. 18 families stay here. That's over 50 women and children. It's an, uh, another way of starting all over. The fire got started yesterday afternoon around 4. Fire in the closet happened in the residence room directly above the common area. Investigators later learned children were playing with a lighter and sparked the fire. Damage was contained to the closet, but sprinklers in the building caused heavy water damage. It's certainly policy procedures always are looked at very closely after incidents like this to just make sure that we're safeguarding at every point. You'll have to replace the ceiling tiles on the first floor and possibly the floor tiles from the second floor. While the residents have been unable to stay here, the Spokane community has stepped in and saved the day. The Red Cross has uh, given the meals, has provided meals for all of our residents for the past 24 hours and will continue to do so. Volunteers are dropping off pods today to clean out some of the residents' rooms. It's too early to tell exactly how much damage was done by the fire, but tonight the shelter is counting their blessings. This is a, a perfect scenario for everyone safe and absolutely have lodging uh, that keeps them out of crisis and that will be reopened very quickly. And good news tonight, the shelter tells us that about 14 of the families will be able to move back in tomorrow evening. The other four are expected to move back sometime in about a week. Reporting live tonight in South Spokane, I'm Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 HD News.